you're dead. What to do with you guys in the GBG? And everybody saw me when I uh, streamed on YouTube, or for the people that was there, we was able to like three tap Taiyu in a in a ten pool. I think I got a first three, and you got his artifact too. I gotta say the character is kind of on the weak side, even if I didn't put any Mulligors into him, right? So I didn't put any Mulligors into him, like, and I said previously during the uh, live stream, of course, his, uh, well, his gear is kind of downgraded right now, but I didn't put any Mulligors into him because I feel like he's just not that strong of what he does, right? I think they made him for the purpose of countering Pyra and Wyung together. Like, you first, they first pick Pyra, they bring Wyung and somebody else. And then he was meant to do that specific job to counter Pyra and Wyung, but in RTA it doesn't, doesn't work because they can bring Seedless and just provoke him right after, and then you're kind of just, um, you can't reset Wyong with his S3 because you're being provoked. I do give him credit though, his S1 does hit really hard, even if with, like, I don't have any Mulligores, but he needs his, uh, he needs his Rage for the second effect. If he doesn't get, if somebody doesn't use a non-attack ability, this, uh, he doesn't use his full power S1. And he also needs an attack buff. A Soul Burn S1 will probably kill something if he's actually properly geared, because his tail for speed, my speed is garbage. No, even though the gear is kind of crappy, he still has a low base attack, like sub a thousand. He, he does, he, you know, I, I see it more of a support than a damage dealer, right? He goes, uh, let me say second or third. If he goes first, it will, it's not too terrible, unless they have an AOL that kind of ruins your passive, because uh, AOL will, her S2 will proc after you use the AOE. Which will proc your S2 and they just get silenced and unbuffable for that turn, so you won't be able to attack buff for the S1. But at least you'll be able to keep, be able to keep, the, uh, keep the rage. I don't know, I feel like Smilegate is like scared to release any like another Wyong, so they made him an ice unit to counter Wyong and Pyro together. But the thing is, they didn't notice that uh, if they bring any other like CC, like an AOL or C Lilies, which is really heavy in the meta. Then he kind of just falls off. I don't think he's like a standalone. He's not a standalone character. He's more like a support for support, right? He's kind of just backup, right? He's kind of like a, a cleaner, right? You, you let your RB and your stuff go through, and if they didn't die, then Taiyu could possibly clean up with his S1. I see him more of like that support, like, but I think he's a hard pass for anybody that's want to save the bookmarks. But he does have a cool S3. Like, his S3 is actually really sick. I love his S3 animation. It's kind of his, his S3 animation is pretty sick, and his S1 is actually really good looking. I feel like if he has rage, I, it should buff him honestly. Get his S3 so his S3 could ignore the factors of the highest attack unit on the team. Then I think that S3 will actually be pretty decent, even though the damage is pretty sucky. But he's he's okay. He's decent. <laughs> but he's he's not like game changing. You can definitely save your bookmarks instead of pulling for Taiyu. Anyway, let's get a GBG and see what we can do with one game with Taiyu. All right, game number one. We got Phyllis. Uh, the counter Pavel, and then we got Melissa. I actually wanted to play with Melissa because uh, I need more testing with her, so I can kind of see where, where I stand. We got her rocking our own artifact with the Bloody Rose, and she's at 223, 3.K, 100% crit, and 282 crit damage. Everybody calls me when I try to explain things. Melissa was the, the last RGB unit that I needed. Technically, I, I wanted her. So I'm kind of happy that I did finally pull up Melissa. We're rocking the... What is this, EE for the increased attack of all the allies for one turn when the enemy is defeated by Manifestation? Because that's, all, that's the first one I pulled with max crit chance, so I'm sticking at that. But I'm hoping I figure out some, let me see. This is ignore effector as, right? No, it's elemental disadvantage. So I can put this on Ram, and then I can just go for Rimuru, if I'm not mistaken. And the bottom got LQC, Taiyu, and then uh, Spirit, Solai, Selene. Hopefully this goes well for the bottom because that's that's what he's meant to uh, fight against. That's specific, like that's the reason why I, I picked um, what's her face Can with. Uh, you, know you know what I'm talking about. about. Brat? So this would occur so I get an extra turn. Does it strip two buffs? They spell all buff in the head before releasing pent up aggression. The skills are affected by elemental disadvantage. So the uh, grace an extra turn. Okay, so you want to put on a ram, right? So I put the curse on a ram, so when we hit Rimmer and friends... Oh, sick! We missed the curse, but we got the vamp. So we're gonna S2. Okay, cool. We did about zero damage, because zero Mulligores, but still. So I get Immortalis. The time has come. Boom, boom. Engaging the enemy. 
Uh, I would have asked him because they can't counterattack back. So, but he, he can because it's not a it's not an attack buff. I hate this game. <laughs> so the good thing is, why didn't he fight us now? I have nothing to say to you. Uh, I want to get him low. Oh, cool, we got a vampire. Hopefully she doesn't kill my team. She's gonna kill my team. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, what's his name? Well, kind of, oh, he got credit. Never mind. <laughs> it wasn't. She wasn't. Even, she was. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Didn't credit me. Okay, never mind. Elemental advantage. Okay, never mind. She got the elemental advantage. That team was garbage. I had better hopes for that. All right, so this is hope. This whole point of Taiyu, right? And then whenever. I'm not, I don't think I'm faster than YL, even with the 10%. Maybe the 10% will boost me up. I'm ready. Yes. So the thing is, you're supposed to... Uh, he's meant to counter these two units specifically. So after I do this, the highest attack will be YL. And we're going to strip all buffs because we got enraged. And we do have some effectiveness, so let's see. Minus one turn, so... She, she's dead. Oh, no. I got this. This will cleanse all buffs, so... This is all good. And then we get our immortality and whatnot. Boop. So at least we'll be able to survive. And we're pretty good bait for, uh, what's her name? So I think, like, Tayu might be good for GVG if he have trouble with Wire and Pyra comps. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I'll clear away. And then his S1 supposed to do a lot of damage. It actually does a lot of damage, in all honesty. We can probably go for her. I'm gonna go for Don't take it for Wyong because we're getting low for LQC. So like, that's not more like he has an attack buff and a rage, and he and he doesn't have more gores. His S1 is actually amazing. I give him that, right? But he's meant to counter these two units specifically. Like he's niche is what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna bonk her over the head and uh, possibly kill two units. She's dead. And then, uh, is she dead? Yeah, she's low HP. Maximum damage. Oh no, Uber Sue. Afraid to die. So we're gonna sober burn so we at least kill Wyo, and then we're gonna kill her. Well, at least Tai survive, right? And he doesn't get his uh, thing for three turns. He doesn't get his rage for three or four turns because it's not Mulligore. I think it's four turns, right? Hopefully, he'll be able to do something against Pyra and not lose. Okay, four turns. I don't think he can get through this barrier, in all honesty. Cool. 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 <laughs> See, I don't think he, I don't think he'd be able to do anything because it's not Mulligore, so he'll have three turns, and he doesn't do much after that. Hasn't been four turns. Uh, we're gonna S three here. Interruption. Let's see if we can strip off all of our crap. Well, two two buffs. Okay, that was Tai Yu. Everything is over. <laughs> Everything is over. <laughs> you did fail. Smile Gate released you in a weakened state. You might get a he might get a buff, but I don't, I don't think he's uh he does his job against Wyong Pyre. You just need better support for him. If you want to make him shine. His S1 is amazing, I give him that, right? Like it, it did a lot of damage without Molagoras and some twenty two point five K attack. You saw my attack? If he had like, I don't know. I think I think the highest he could possibly go because there's a thousand attack is uh, possibly like two point seven. I mean three point seven. It's gonna be real hard to give him a four K attack. I give him my Kawazu gear where it has like forty percent attack for all of his things. He reached about three point five. So so it's gonna be real hard to get him the four K attacks. I think three point seven is probably you know pushing it, but yeah, that's Taiyu. First game lost. All right, game number two. We're gonna go Demiel, Vildred, and Milliam. I don't know how fast that team is, but Demiel is 269 speed. And I have Vildred for some speed imprint because I don't have uh, Shuri 
Imprints is actually pretty weird. I don't have Shuri imprints. So I'm gonna re rock it to four extra speed, so she's at least 273. Right? So uh, we're gonna hope that we're faster than this girl. And at middle of the is because she's adorable. At the bottom, we got the Dark Boys. We got Ken, Dark Corvus, and we got Emil Kawazu. Emil Kawazu is rocking Taiyu's artifact because I think it's a really good artifact for Emil Kawazu. It's pretty great. 10% increased damage, and you can increase this by uh, enhancing it, so increase more damage, right? I'll tell you, you get 10% counter if somebody using a non attack ability once per turn. So I'll tell you, this passive getting, uh, what is it, 30%? 20% and then pirate, especially against Pyro where she might S3, you get another, you get, well, you get 30 in, in total, right? It's pretty great. Of course, you can use it as a politis, but yeah. We have 11% crit chance for these boots. I really need to get rid of these boots, in all honesty. We got 4%. Alright, let's do this. I don't know how well, I don't know how fast they are. I will fight. Okay, because of the Vildra, I think we actually outsped. Will we outsped without Vildra with the extra, without the extra 4 speed? Anyway, we're going to drop an icicle to see how many people we actually do hit with this and knock them back. Hopefully we hit them all. Goodbye, Vildred. Wait, did we not stun her? I guess not. Oh, that's the 15%. She could, uh... I think she could actually, uh, what's it, what's it, what I'm looking for? She could actually strip the invasion. I hope you're ready. Let's see if we can stun her. Nope. It's over. It's over for us. Uh, I think, I think she got pretty, I'm like, I didn't, like, I don't know if we, oh, we resisted. Can we stun her? Proof of valor, no. Okay, my stuns are just failing. Don't Dragon Knuckles counts for Wai Young's kicks because they're not crits? Or they gotta be missed for Dragon Knuckles to activate? I don't know. This is it. She's dead. Let's do this together. Oh, she's dead here. Oh my god, that 15% for the icicle was kind of bad. If we stunned her, then I feel like Vigil is gonna turn at least S3 and whatnot. Oh well, the Dark Boy's got it. That's unfortunate. So Kawaz is gonna push up, bloop. She's gonna ask her and go move up again, bloop. Heed my call. Sick. We have no place in this and now we're gonna S3 this little boy. You, I know, he already used Pusha Valor for uh, Bella, so he doesn't have it. It's gonna analyze nothing, but it's gonna hurt because damage. Oh no, he left. How did he live? Oh, the Pyra. I was like, how did he live, Pyra? I was like, he shouldn't have lived. Uh, he's gonna take a beating real quick. Hopefully we hit her. Nope, she actually dodged. If you wish to we're gonna knock him upside the head real quick. And then we're gonna ask her to try to get her all of her HP back and also get defense breaks. She missed. I mean, we missed. We're dead here. So they heal up enough, we just missed everything. You with the of Hopefully Dark Horus will be able to survive. Crimson Seed. He's not surviving. This world's existence no longer. Oh, we gotta provoke at least. At least we gotta provoke. Crimson Seed, that's good. She just did inside to stun us this time. But she's fast enough where she should be able to actually be able to. Ah, Dragon Bust is gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's bus is gonna hurt. If you wish to fight me, all right, slap her on top of the head. Ah, oh, that shared damage. Dead. Okay, we could possibly do this if you quit scratching my face. We got to provoke. If we keep provoking it, but we're healing for like a thousand. Did you do a thousand to me? A thousand six hundred. That doesn't matter. Dark Boy won. <laughs> that felt good for Dark Corps to get at least one dub in a Guild Wars. He's pretty good in Guild Wars. Unfortunately, you can't bring him to any 
dangerous units that has injury, but he's still pretty good. All right, game number three, last game. As you guys can see, the top lane, I'm trying something a little bit different. I want to try something a little uh, funky. So I'm hoping this works. So pretty much we're gonna have Crow run every everybody over unless he doesn't get kicked by Wong and or die, right? BBK for back of insurance. I know you can be stripped twice in a row, but I'm hoping they don't what well, they're going to because uh, her provoke right is gonna hit uh, pirate. I mean gonna hit BBK. I don't know who else to bring here for my honest opinion. But we bought Crow and we Rim is gonna reset the cooldown of Crow by three turns. Basically, we're going to keep resetting horse, and we're going to horse everybody eventually. I'm hoping that's how that works. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm thank game. And then bottom, we got uh, Artemis and Jacko, and then, uh, who are you? Uh, Solitaria. I don't know if I want to switch Solitaria and, uh, uh, let's switch Solitaria and then Artemis. For why not? Because I feel like Solitaria, because after everything goes, like, said and done, she's going to be the last one surviving, maybe. So BBK got hit, of course. So we're gonna get the minus attack and whatnot. Give all that you have for the glory of Harlan. So we're gonna provoke BBK because she's also a dark unit. Hey, who's going for BBK? Yeah. He didn't miss, but it's really hard without. To do anything against this woman because guess what? The We're gonna see if we can put her to sleep. Gotcha again. Now isn't the time to hesitate. He said gotcha, gotcha again. What to hit like oh no, Reba's lower. No, that's not the plan, stop it. Belong on the stage. Um we'll see if we get Minus me. Stop it, that's not the plan. That's not how the plan is supposed to go. Focus. I feel like if we could get her low. How do we get stunned? I guess it makes sense. <laughs> how do we get stunned? I guess it makes sense. She didn't even miss either. Yeah, why S3 kills anything in the game? So, regardless of what I do, let's go. We're gonna have to try to kill one with this S3 because it's not Mulligan, it's a six turn cooldown. <laughs> so, the best thing I do is get her like low. By low, I mean dead. We are on a revenge set. We do have 150 effect rates, but this effect rate doesn't mean nothing if you just. Get 160. So. Do not fear death. Seizing victory is seizing the future. We can magically survive for a couple of the turns. <laughs> We're not surviving. We got RNL. Now isn't the time to hesitate. <laughs> We're not surviving. You got RNL. There it goes. <laughs> We're not surviving. Victories are just beginning. Oh, thank you, bro. It's just beginning. It doesn't matter. I can just prolong. So the thing is, I want to stun her. So we don't get... Uh, what's the thing called? Shall we give this a go? Yeah, I'm going to S2 here. In peace. I'm healable. I, they both resisted. I don't know how. Fuck it. <laughs> I feel like my fighting doesn't mean nothing versus their effectiveness. <laughs> like... And I have a, I have a decent chunk of effect. Even if Ravi's has, if they build every Ravi has an effect res, Ravi. Or, I'm assuming so. <laughs> you guys see what? Okay, now we stunned him. Okay, but why? <laughs> Bro, you can't tell me 15 percent like the right side is against me. I don't know who I double snap my fingers against. But since they're all stunned. I need some. We're gonna go for her because we need to try to get her down. I only have a hundred effectiveness, so I don't know. I don't know if her, I don't know if she's fifteen percent or not. It's a it's a complete mystery. I'm gonna ask through because they've been stunned the first turn. I know. I'm gonna bring her back. So uh, if our method could hit a Ravi, that'd be great. If we don't get provoked. 
You have a 15 percent in all honesty. I won't waste my breath. Right? But it's hundred percent because it's Guild Wars. Being popular is so exhausting. If I do this, she's gonna get cleansed by real because I think she'd be lowered, right? Unless we knock her back and then real be the lowest one. Yeah, she's gonna be at least she's not counterattacking yet. That's great. I don't know if uh, she'd be able to do this. How'd she get stunned the first time? Oh, she got stunned this time. I mean, she got debuffed this time. Shall we give this a go? Let's go to ST to see what, how, we, how many people get unbuffable. Dude, why is she resisting my Aramitha? Now, A Ravi just resisted my Aramitha like no tomorrow. Okay, can we get a minus attack? Minus speed, kind of Elvis. <laughs> can I please get like a stun or a blind? That's not enough. <laughs> like, why is he resist resisting my art method S2 the most? I shouldn't debuff me because I have enough effect res. <laughs> So I know I could resist. I know I could I could CC her, but I'm guessing it's 50 50. I don't know. I don't know. So we we can stun her. We can not afford to waste time. Yeah, we can't win. Ah, uh, the un there are two resists from our Meta S2, so the CR push. <laughs> I don't know if she has effectors or not. Anyway, that was GBG, pretty disastrous in all honesty. Actually, in all honesty. I didn't want to just bring Wyong to every game because I'm making a video, obviously. Like, you guys obviously know I can just bring Wyong to every GBG, but then every video will just be Wyong, Pyro, and uh, who else? Rimuru, right? I will just bring those and just easily win GBG. The thing is, I'm just trying a different combination of units. And unfortunately, it seems like 50% is always going to rear his stupid face. Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe how he resisted Aramitha S2 twice. I know she has a... a Alright, it's not that high. It's only 81%, right? It's not that high, but still, that's uh, you need like 180 to at least be 50-50. Effect res. This is 100%, right? No, I don't know. I hate 15%. Like I said, I didn't want to just bring Wyong, Pyra, and Rimuru at this, all at this, like, all, in every single game, so I'm just trying out different units. I know some people want to see me win, but at the same time, I was like, eh, I don't want to see, I don't want to keep using the same units over and over again for GVG, unless I'm like not recording, right? Because I could definitely just bring the same units over and just to get a free win, but that'd be boring. Anyway, see you guys around. Peace.